The world is manipulated by a web, and at the center of the web, you've got the spider. That spider is the non-human force. Around the spider, in the strands immediately around the spider, um, are the most exclusive secret societies. And people in them you probably never have heard of. They're the people really running this cult from the inner, inner sanctum. As you come out from the spider in the web, you're now starting to hit the secret societies we do know about, but we don't know what goes on there. But they'd like us not to. Um, like the Freemasons, and I'm talking the inner core. Usually, you meet what I call the cusp organizations, which sit between the hidden and the seen. These are the Council on Foreign Relations in America. The, these are cusp organizations that sit between the hidden and the seen. And what happens is the agenda for the world comes out from the spider through the hidden, through the cusp organizations, and into the society, uh, uh, the uh, arena that we see, the public arena. And there we find governments, government agencies, the banking system, all the Silicon Valley corporations, and so on, media ownership. And in this level of the um, public arena, it seems to be a series of completely unconnected organizations, agencies, whatever. If you go deep enough into them, and it's all compartmentalized, most people in these organizations haven't got a clue that they, what they're being controlled and directed to and what the agenda is. They just get on with their lives, get their pay and go home to their families. But at the inner core of these organizations, they are actually answering to the spider ultimately and are making decisions that um, reflect that agenda of the spider. Um, each country, and it can be explained very simply this way, the way this cult operates and manipulates globally and could coordinate this coronavirus thing that we're looking at now, current events, is uh, the same as McDonald's, really. McDonald's were, or, or any other transnational corporation, I'm just picking McDonald's out of the air, they have a headquarters, say in America, and in each country they have their subsidiaries. And the subsidiaries operate in line and to the blueprint of the headquarters. And in the same way, this cult has a central point and it has its sub-operation networks in each country. And their job is to manipulate that country's politics, business, banking, media, in line with the centrally dictated agenda. And that's why, uh, as this um, virus hysteria came out of China, basically all countries have reacted the same, because they're, they're, they're working to the same uh, script. Honestly speaking, each and every one of us wants money. And, and the way to get money is to uh, join the narrative. Join the narrative of the elite. Join the narrative of those in power. Because the closer you get to the spider, the, the, the stronger your powers are, the stronger your connections are, the stronger your chance of having money. And I understand that all of us just wants to get on with our lives and uh, enjoy life, have money, spend time with their family. And if you're lucky, you can have side chicks to spend time with, and have kids. And their kids are millionaires. They have uh, generational wealth. But in reality, we all die and that's what we do. That's, we, that's what we try to achieve. None of us ever thought of how are we going to make substantial difference in the world? How are, you, how are we going to make substantial good in this world? We should tell you honestly, even if you have everything, if you don't do good shit, you will feel empty. But if you're trying to do something for the people, for the world, it may be against the agenda of the spider, but rest assured it will help you sleep better at night. So I hope there are more good men standing up for the truth, for the genuine good, and for the people of the world.